What is going on, everybody? We are live. Once again, I am uh, cruising on my way home here. Um, I wanted to say, I know everybody knows I'm not that good with cars. <clears throat> if you don't know, by the way, I'm not that great with cars. Um, I do a lot of paperwork stuff. That's what I'm, that's what I'm good at. So I do the paperwork stuff. Um, so my mistake, when I added the uh, car to the website um, last night, the Hyundai, I put it down as a Hyundai Sonata. Apparently, it's a Hyundai XG350, which I was corrected on by uh, Mike. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna get that changed up tonight for y'all. Um, so it doesn't look like I'm trying to sell a Sonata that is clearly an XG350, I guess. Uh, that, I don't know, There's, they're Hyundais, they look the same to me. Um, actually, most cars look the same to me. Uh, I usually have to go behind them, look at the trunk, and um, see what they're actually called. Um, it is what it is though, uh, not everybody's forte is cars, uh, even though I work at the car dealership, I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I better, you know, I work at the car dealership does not necessarily mean I know cars, but I do know paperwork, I do know financing and all that kind of stuff, so that's what they keep me there for, and, uh, and that's what I do, and hey, I mean, I do live videos too, so I mean, hey, that's, that's, I'm marketing, right, hey, that's what I'm doing, so, so anywho, um, so that is it, I will get that, uh, up and change, but anybody looking at the Hyundai, Sonata on our website. It is actually a Hyundai XG350. It's actually really nice too, um, if you are interested in that. Um, but uh, but yeah, no. So uh, so that was it. We uh, sold. I think we sold a car on Saturday, and then uh, we sold two of them today. So uh, getting back up to steam after we have a. We would rather have Jessica. <laughs> oh <duh. laughs> Yeah, yeah. No. Uh, maybe Jessica will pop in here every once in a while. Um, I don't have any hair ties to to see if she's available, but uh, maybe I give her a call one of these days and if I can remember to put some of those in the uh, in the old vehicle here. Um, but uh, but yeah, no. So uh, so we did sell two. Uh, people are getting caught up after the hurricanes, and uh, some people are just you know messaging us, you know, getting now that the hurricanes are gone, sun is in my eyes. Ah, man. Here we go. Um, yeah, but uh, but yeah. So so, anyways, guys, that's it. We sold two today. Um, so we are going to be closed tomorrow. We got the auction tomorrow. Hopefully, get some new cars in for everybody to look at, see. Um, and we try to keep the website updated as, as quickly as we can because we do know that uh, people are interested. I will try to do a video tomorrow. No promises, but I'm going to try to do one tomorrow at the auction um, so that we can get that taken care of. Um, and funny story, uh, FYI to you guys, I almost I almost was a liar. Uh, and uh, if you're squeamish, probably don't listen to the story, but it's all good if you're not. Um, I just say whatever I say, and I just happen to think about it just now. So I will let you guys, I'll say it to you guys, and you know, it is what it is. I kind of do whatever and say whatever. So I told you guys I was going to start making live videos, right? I was going to make more videos. Well, um, I got out of my car today, and I, I don't know if anybody knows this. I have two cell phones, okay? Not because I'm rich and not because I'm popular and not because I'm that important. I have two cell phones because I'm terrified to switch from an iPhone to an Android. And the reason being is I had an iPhone since like day one iPhones came out, well maybe for the month one or whatever like that, right? And my current one that you're watching me on right now is an iPhone 6. So I've had the same phone for however many years back that is. Um, and I, I wanted to switch and get a new iPhone, uh, but the ones they came out with were like $1,000, and that's too doggone expensive uh, for me to afford to get one. So everybody in my family's got the droids now, and I'm like, they're like, oh, they're so much better than iPhone. So I said, okay, I'm gonna switch to a droid. Target was having the Black Friday thing with a $300 gift card if you switch over and crap. So I did it. I made the switch, got the droid, but I said, hey, let me be smart about this. I'm gonna do the droid just on Wi-Fi while I get used to using it. So that was like a year ago. Um, I have not gotten used to using it. Uh, I am literally handicapping myself with my iPhone here, not using my droid as much as I possibly sh probably should to switch over. And now I'm debating just going next, just getting the iPhone, because I don't know if I'm ever gonna switch the droid. It just confuses the hell out of me every time I use it. Um, a funny story, um, and I'm not sure if it's too much information, but I'm gonna share it anyways, because that's what I do. Uh, needless to say, uh, Saturday, I was almost without two phones, coming from Saturday through today. Uh, Saturday, I was uh, using the throne at the house, and I uh, had some sweatpants on and the uh, the old Samsung in the pocket because I used my iPhone while sitting there. I didn't realize that I had the Samsung in the pocket, and sure enough, I stood up, and that shit fell on the toilet. Now, I've used the bathroom with my phone in my hand before, 
And I always thought, I wonder what would happen if that thing dropped in the toilet. Well, sure as shit, I will dive into a toilet full of shit to grab my damn cell phone out. And I tell you what, you will scrub the hell out of your phone because, you know, when you're using it so much, the fact that it may or may not have feces on it is a little ridiculous. So there was some bleaching, some Lysol wipes, some scrub. It was disgusting. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, it was pretty, it was pretty awful. And I was pretty, uh, I, I realized what had happened. I always thought of what would happen if that happened. Now I know what would happen. The rice, that's to dry it off. I'm talking, I got to clean this thing. I mean, I got to sanitize the shit out of this thing. I mean, literally, no pun intended. So anyways, so I get it. I got it. I got it taken care of. All right. Long story short, I'm not going to go into any more details, but it's phone is cleaned, right? It's sitting right over here, by the way, nice and clean. It has a case on it and all that, you know, y'all. Don't smell or anything. We're good. All right, we're good. So then I'm getting out of my damn car today, and my phone pops out of my hand with my keys in it. It was sitting on there for whatever reason. The phone I'm using right now slid out of my hand, and it landed on the concrete pavement flat on its back. Now, it's got an otter case, same one I've had since I bought the phone. This thing is withstand, stood tons of drops the entire time. Well, for whatever reason, my iPhone landed flat on its back. No problem. There's a case back there. We are good, guys. We are golden, right? But I'm not lying. I, in my head, I said, you know, that sounded like a drop that would break your phone. Sure enough, pick up the damn phone. It will not come on. It won't come on. No, not nothing. It ain't doing nothing. It ain't coming on. Nothing's happening. And I'm like, ah, now I have to switch to the freaking droid. Great. This sucks because I'm not comfortable with the droid yet. Enough to be like, yeah, and I have so many notes and stuff in my current phone, like the stuff I have from, you know, whatever I do, as like, you know, years, years and years of stuff that I'm like, shit, I don't have any of that stuff. I don't remember any of that stuff. I gotta, I gotta save that stuff somehow. Like right, now I'm gonna have to go to iFix my iPhone and get that damn thing fixed. Well, uh, yeah, so my iPhone would not turn on. Nothing I did wouldn't turn on, nothing. And I was like, damn it, I just broke my phone. And I know I had full battery because I always keep it charged. So, uh, so needless to say, I'm sitting there randomly and like two hours later, my phone just boom and the little apple shows up and I go, what is this? What is going on? And lo and behold, here we are. We're doing the live video guys as promised because the iPhone just randomly turned on. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like a Toyota, you know? I mean, I drive those things and I'm mile, I'm like 14,000 miles over an oil change. I'm not bragging. I'm just saying Toyota should be bragging because I ain't had any issues yet. Now I do need to get changed. I'm just being a slacker and I need to go get a change and I keep meaning to do it and I ain't done it yet. But that being said, maybe that, maybe my iPhone here that I have, the iPhone six is like the Toyota of phones because this thing has withstood a lot of stuff, a lot of submerged, not toilets. That was only the Samsung. That's the first time it's ever happened to me, by the way, too. Comment in the video below if you guys have ever dropped your shit in the toilet. Maybe you don't, I don't know. If you're as open as I am, go ahead and comment. If not, then, you know, don't. <laughs> but needless to say, uh, yeah, it's kind of how uh, how the, uh, the last couple days have gone for me. Uh, that is a uh, Sunday Monday deal where I almost lost both my phones in two days. Uh, that would have been uh, pretty miserable and uh, pretty awful. And then I would have had to go out and buy a damn thousand dollar phone from iPhones or from Apple, I guess. It's not from iPhones. So, uh, so needless to say, guys, that was a sidetrack. Since I don't really know about cars, we sidetracked a little bit. Now we're coming back. Uh, we will talk a little bit about cars. Um, we have a car dealership, any bunch of cars on Aurora. That's about all I'm gonna give you guys today for it. <laughs> so, so anyways, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off. I am driving here. I'm about to get home, and uh, I will let you guys go. But uh, we are two two four one Aurora Road, uh, Melbourne, Florida three two nine three five. You can hit us up three two one four two five six three one three. And I am uh, gonna sign off. We are closed tomorrow. Don't forget, we'll be open at eleven to five on Wednesday. Hopefully, get some cars for you guys tomorrow at the auction. I'll try to do some videos and see if I can get you guys out there. But uh, um, this is just a lesson today, guys. Just if you got two phones or if you got sweatpants that you're wearing when you're using the throne, uh, just make sure your phone ain't in your pocket when you pull your pants up. That's it, guys. That keep your phone safe. All right? So anyways, take it easy, guys. I uh, hope you all have a good one. Hopefully that made you all laugh a little bit uh, at my expense. So see ya.